Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to uh, Smoke Cloud Reviews. Um, today, I pack, well, not today, but a couple days ago, I uh, picked up a pack of Viceroy's. Um, now, this was uh, suggested to me by, uh, I believe, um, John Black. He sent me, uh, suggested it to me, but anyways, this pack was around like um, eight, uh, eight something, eight twenty-five or something like that. So uh, not too expensive, not too cheap. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Beautiful pack design. I love that tongue. <laughs> um, but yeah, decent logo, I guess. You know, pretty classy, kind of modern looking. Uh, it just says 25 cigarettes. It's a king size. Uh, on the size, it just says everyday low price. I think they kind of ruined it with that one. But it doesn't say anything on the sides. You know, opening it up. Sorry if the pack's crushed. Uh, that's what happens when it's in my pocket. But Anyways, that's what the cigarette looks like. Hopefully it focuses. I'm, uh, I'm using my MacBook to record today. It's regular length, nothing special. Tobacco is very light. It's a Virginia blend. It looks darker in the camera, but it's very light. So I'll light it up. No paper taste off the bat. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, really good at the bat. It's uh, it's very sweet, like I said, pretty, pretty smooth. All right, the body is not too strong. Like it's, uh, you know, I don't know. Where's the? Uh, that is. <laughs> Got this shit here. This is like a cheaper version of Belmont, but I think this is actually better than Belmont, uh, in my opinion. It's the body, like it does have perforations here. You won't be able to see that. It's a very thin line. I don't know. I mean, it goes down smooth, so it's uh, not too harsh. Filter does a good job at catching the good stuff. I would definitely compare this to a Belmont. It's, uh, it's almost the exact same taste, but I think it's a little bit better. I mean, Belmonts are like 10 to 12 bucks. They're pretty expensive. These are $8 to $7. Plus you got 25 of them in Belmonts, you only get uh, 20. These burn pretty slow. They're all right. Paper is pretty good quality. It's not a. Uh, you don't see any nicotine leaking from it. It's pretty good overall. Uh, I, I don't like the pack design that much. I guess they're looking for uh, going for the classy kind of look or modern. I'm not sure, but you know, Canada did a good job with the warning labels there. Good job at preventing people. All right, uh, let's move on to the ratings. Uh, like I said, pack design, I'd give it a, I don't know, seven out of 10 is pretty weak. There's no real design to it. Kind of like a check mark at the bottom. Um, nothing really to it. It doesn't say, I think it was made and uh, imported by Imperial Tobacco Canada, Montreal. And uh, I got comments and stuff there, but I don't know. Cigarette um, design, basic cigarette. I don't know. Uh, eight out of ten looks fine. Now exhaling it through my nose, it's it's pretty light. It's not very harsh. Uh, it's a bit different. And tastes when you exhale it through your nose. It's more, I don't know, it's more bitter, I guess, but it's kind of sweet at the same time. It's hard to describe. If you've had Belmonts, this is pretty much a Belmont, but cheaper. It even looks like one, kind of. Yeah. So the taste overall is, I think, uh, 
9 out of 10. It's very good. Uh, very clean tasting tobacco. It doesn't taste dirty like uh, Studios or Next or something like that. Uh, even Peter Jackson, I think. I'm not sure. But I haven't had those in a while, so. <clears throat> yeah, overall rating, I'd give them uh, 8 out of 10. They're pretty good. So for $8, it's definitely worth it. Uh, let's move on to the shoutouts. Uh, Real Smoking TV, he does pretty good reviews. I've checked out his channel. Um, I'll link the channel in the description. And uh, John Black, he wanted me to do him a shout out. So, you know. Yeah, guys, uh, stay subscribed and thanks for watching. See ya.